Hi, this is Brandon Moon with Moonlit Fly Fishing. I want to welcome you to fly tying night tonight. Tonight we're going to be tying up a mahogany dun spinner pattern. Fish this pattern during a mahogany hatch and you'll find picky fish enjoy chasing after this fly. With that I want to make sure and invite you to like the video, make sure that you leave us a comment, if you find any value in these videos at all, or this one, that would greatly help us and we'd appreciate it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notification as well. For the hook in this pattern, we're going to use the Moonlit Premium Tagata ML102. I'm tying it in a size 16 today. This pattern's tied anywhere from a size 14 into a size 18. Just depending on the body of water is going to depend on what size of fly you're going to tie this in. So the thread I'm using is 12 aught classic wax. It is the claret color. And I'm just going to start that at about two thirds point. We're going to wrap it back to the hook bend. I'm going to take some Coke de Leon. This is just kind of like a Pardo Grizzly or Grizzly. I also like using a Dunn color on this. The Dunn's a little bit harder to find. So you could use some rooster feathers as well, fibers. And I'm going to tie this and make just a couple fibers, about six fibers maybe. And we're going to tie this in the, just a little bit shorter than about the hook length. And I can always adjust that shorter. I can't lengthen it though. Secure that down. And then I'm going to trim that out at that two thirds mark just so that I get a nice, good, even underbody on this pattern. You can see that I left that nice long tag end on this thread here. So we're gonna wrap that up to that two thirds point. And then we're gonna create a little bit of a taper with our thread going rearward. Stopping just short of that end there and forward again. This is a slim, slender style fly. So I don't want to create too much of a bulk in this body here, but I do want a little bit of a taper because your natural insect's going to have a taper. So about three times, maybe four times at most. Now I'm just going to half hitch that right there. Set that off to the side. For the ribbing on this, I'm going to use a alcohol marker. I'm using a plum color. Black works just great too. But this plum gives me just a nice, very subtle accent to the ribbing on this fly. So I'm just going to start that now. And I'm going to create that ribbing with open spiral wraps and it's just going to create a nice even using this rotary feature wrap there and it's going to be a very subtle rib you can see that right there in as we're going now I'm just going to take and secure that rib thread that tag end of thread down over the top and then in front twice just to lock that down. Now we're going to trim that out. Now to make this high vis so I can see it easier, I've got a one millimeter zero gravity foam in orange and it's about half the width of the gape of this hook. And I'm just going to tie this in just short of the eye of that hook so that I can leave a nice clean area. Then I'm going to wrap this back. 
I can pull it just to kind of help stretch that out a little bit and give myself that two-thirds for this part of the thorax on my fly here. I'm going to use a medium done hackle. You can see I've stripped this already and I've got one quarter of a turn already stripped on the other side so that I get a nice clean wrap and I'm going to secure that down if I need to I can trim that stem down too I'm going to come back I'm going to wrap behind that two times just to kind of help stand that feather up just a little bit for the thorax on this, I'm going to use some Margenta Kapok Dubbing from Semperfly. And I don't want very much. I just want to put a nice little base down on this thorax. And you'll see why in just a second. A little bit too much there. Okay, now I'm just going to take and start this wrap. I'm going to wrap three to four wraps. Now we'll just secure that down. I'm going to pull this back and pull all those fibers back. Before I do anything else, I'm going to trim that out right there. Now I'm going to pull that foam, and I'm just using a really small thin foam just so that I can help split down and create that spinner with my hackle. Okay, so I'm going to lock that down with two wraps over the top. I'm going to pull that foam and stretch it just a little bit and then go in and clip it. That's going to allow that foam to shrink back just a little bit. You can see I've gotten a few of those fibers. It's okay, I'll just trim them out. Now that I've got that, I just need to whip finish here. So I'm going to take my whip finish tool there's a three turn whip snip that out now I'll just pop that hackle off now to create that nice spinner look, I'm going to come in and trim out the underbelly of this so that those hackle fibers create my spinner wings. And I like the hackle fibers because they're stiff, so they're going to help my fly float and stay on the surface of the water a little better than say a poly yarn would. Okay, so there we've got that and just to finish that off and add a little bit of durability looks like I've got just a little bit of a fiber here in the front. Trim that out just a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of head cement set that in there and that's going to help make this fly a little bit more durable and there you have it a mahogany done spinner
pattern. This is going to float nice and good. Nice, quick, easy pattern to tie. Very effective. It's going to ride nice and low in the water like a spinner should. The medium done hackle is going to give it that light color and the hackle fibers will make it look translucent like a natural wing does. So with that I want to make sure and invite you again if you found any value in this video whatsoever please make sure that you hit the like button leave us a comment hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notification as well this really helps us out a lot as we work to produce good content and share innovative patterns and ways to tie your favorite flies and we hope to see you again next week have a great day